In this video, I'll show you how to create contact in HubSpot from Notion database items automatically. So if you're collecting your leads into Notion database items and you also want to sync all your leads with HubSpot CRM, then this video is for you because here I'm going to integrate Notion and HubSpot in such a way that whenever you add any lead here into the Notion, the same lead, the same contact will be created automatically into the HubSpot CRM as well. Want to create this automation for yourself? come with me and I'll show you the whole process step by step. So this is the Notion application and here you can see I have created a page with the name All Leads Data and as soon as I am going to add any lead here, I also want to sync that lead with HubSpot CRM and for that I am going to build a connection in between these applications with the help of Pabli Connect. It is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your task and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect and I will also attach this link in my description box for your reference. Now, if you are a new user of Public Connect, you will have to sign up for free and where you will also get free tasks every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation. Well, I'm already an existing user of Public Connect, so that is why I am clicking on sign in. Then I have clicked on access now, Public Connect access now, and this is how you can also reach out to the dashboard of Public Connect. And after reaching here, the very first thing you'll have to do is to click on this blue button that is create workflow and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation so i'm going to provide the name as when lead is added in notion okay add contact in hubspot crm as well okay hubspot crm as well okay let me first correct the spelling of this contact okay i think now it is looking good when lead is added in notion add contact in hubspot crm as well now click on create and after that you will find two boxes in front of you so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also that whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application and here according to our use case whenever the lead is as added inside notion application automatically add the very same lead automatically add the very same contact in hubspot crm okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay and here i am building an automation in between notion application and in between hubspot crm so that is why i am going to search i am going to select these two application okay and i am going to complete the setup of hubspot crm later firstly i'm going to complete i'm going to connect the notion with the Pabli connect so that whenever a new database item is created inside notion basically a contact is added inside notion this automation should trigger and Pabli connect will capture all the contact details here inside Pabli connect and then we are going to send the same details to hubspot within Pabli connect only with the help of Pabli connect only okay so simply click on connect click on add new connection click on connect with notion and and I am already logged in into my Notion application in different app. So that is why it will directly ask me for the permission only. Okay, so I'm going to provide the permission from here. Click on select pages and make sure whatever the page in whatever the page you are adding your contact, your leads data that should be selected. Okay, so here you can see I have already selected the same. Click on allow access and this is how the authorization will be successful and your Notion application will be connected with the public connection okay and whatever the databases are available inside my notion application have started visible here since we are connected okay so let me show you my notion application and here you can see i have created several pages several database and all these pages are visible here only okay and now when now firstly i am going to select this page okay so i have the later i have the data i'm sorry for that i have the data inside my all leads data only so i'm going to select the same and you will see as soon as I am going to click on this button, the Pabli Connect will capture the recent entry of this particular page. Okay, so let me even show you. Clicking on this button, save and send test request, and here you can see the response is already received. Okay, so let me show you the details one by one. Here I have added a first name as dummy, the last name the customer, subscriber email is admin at the rate pablitudes.com, and here we have a dummy phone number. Okay, let us check whether we have captured the same details or not, and here you 
can see it is the same phone number and where is the email id here's that here we have the customer okay where is the name of the person here you can see dummy was the first name of the person you can see and where is the second name well i think the second name was customer only which we have already checked okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between pabli connect and notion is working absolutely fine okay now we are going to send the same data to hubspot crm so that we can create a contact inside hubspot crm automatically okay okay and just like we have connected notion with pabli connect i am also going to connect hubspot with pabli connect now again i have clicked on this button and since i am already logged in into my hubspot crm it will directly ask me for the permission so i have selected the account choose account clicked on choose account okay and uh, here you can see the authorization will be successful again and hubspot will be connected immediately with pabli connect and here you can see it is connected now it is asking to select the coaching institute well this is some custom field which i have created inside my hubspot crm so that is why this particular this custom field is visible here well i do not want to send any kind of data such kind of data so firstly i am going to enable the mapping button and then what i am going to do is i am going to erase this existing value since i do not want to send any data here so basically whenever we are going to provide any data here in these fields the data will be added automatically into the hubspot so that is why i have specifically deleted this particular entry okay asking for the company name company size date of birth well i am going to add only the important details which are actually required for creating a contact into hubspot okay so i have the first name last name email and the phone number i'm going to map the same and i don't even need to provide this data manually here okay i'm going to map it and let me show you mapping is very simple inside public connect okay so where is the email id and the first name okay let me search for the name first name and here we have the first name simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down you just need to search for your data here i'm searching for the name okay i remember i have provided the name as the dummy so how about i directly search with dummy only okay so i have provided the name asking for the last name well i'll have to check where is the last name field okay here you can see the last name field so i am going to provide the last name as well here okay so customer okay so here i have filled the last name as well asking for the email address so let me fill the email address as well and i can search the email address with the help of at the rate all right so i have performed the same and uh, i think i am leaving the mobile number mobile phone number okay so last thing i am going to map is the phone number where is the phone number all right so i have mapped all the data the important data successfully and you must be thinking what is this mapping why i have mapped this value why i have not provided any detail manually okay so if we will provide the details manually that detail will remain same it will be fixed but if we are going to map any field here any data here in these fields the data will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time in next time okay so what will happen in next time when you are going to add the new entry here that new entry will be captured via pabli connect okay and it is going to check for the new data in every data so just in case if your data is not getting added in real time do not get bothered don't worry about that just wait for few hours and it will surely be added automatically okay so what will happen firstly you're going to add the entry here that entry will be captured via pabli connect in every eight hours and then that new entry will replace these existing values which i have mapped here okay where is the mapping i remember i have mapped the name of the person okay let me show you all right i'm going to search it for with the first name field okay where is the first name field inside our okay here you can see i have mapped this data now i am going to click on this button save and send this request to finally right in front of you okay and i am leaving all this data bank since i do not want to update any other information right now but just in case if you want to provide more data details you can provide the details as per your requirement okay so this is my hubspot crm okay clicking on this button save and send this request and waiting for the response to receive basically waiting for the contact to be created well the response is received now i will have to check whether the contact has been created into my hubspot crm automatically or not with the help of pabli connect okay it is showing one contact i'll have to refresh it once again 
And here you can see dummy customer admin at the rate pablitudes.com. We have the lead status as new created date is this basically current timing. Okay, so this is how we were able to uh, automatically add this customer, this contact into HubSpot CRM. But currently the phone number is missing. Missing. Why the phone number is missing? Well, I guess I have provided the phone number into this mobile number field. That is why that uh, mobile number is not visible i'll have to check where is the number and here you can see i have provided the phone number in this mobile phone number i am going to first erase this and then i am going to map the number from this into this mobile phone number okay into this phone number field okay so i have mapped my phone number as well again going back here clicking on this button and let us check whether the same data is being updated or not i'll have to wait for that well, since the contact is already exists, so that is why it is showing me an error. So firstly, what I'll have to do is I'll have to delete this existing data. I'm going to actually delete this existing data and then in front of you only. OK, I'll have to press one in front of you only. I'm again going to show you how the phone number will be also updated. OK. All right. So response is received. Going back to my HubSpot CRM. And here you can see the phone number is also updated. Okay, so this is how now onwards, every time you are going to add any lead here, you do not need to manually export this data and impo import it to HubSpot CRM. Once you will add the data here, Pabli Connect will automatically send this data to HubSpot CRM. And for that, you need to create this automation inside Pabli Connect just once. After that, Simply close Pabli Connect and sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end. You do not have to do anything manually just in case if you want to access this automation which I have created in front of you. I will attach the link of my workflow into my description box. Simply click on this link and sign up for free into the Pabli Connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your Pabli Connect account that too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.